Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Mo. I'm a pharmacist, toxicologist and safety assessor of personal care product. In this channel, we love to talk about skincare, science, ingredients and their safety. If that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to subscribe and join this community. So one of the chemical UV filter is an endocrine disruptor. Let's talk about it. Okay, I mentioned in one of my latest reel on Instagram this, the attraction between the receptor and the chemical. So far, there is no UV filters with a strong affinity to our receptor except one that I will talk about in later video if you like. And to be honest, I received a few comments and a tons of DMs. I don't know why you guys prefer DMs, comments help my account more and the info can be shared with everyone. So more comments please. So the filter I was talking about is called 4MBC aka 4-methyl benzaladine camphor. This UV filter has those names as well, I will put them here. It is an approved UV filter in Canada, Australia and the EU with concentration up to 4% in dermal preparation, but is not approved in the US or Japan. The latest report from the SCCS, which stands for the Scientific Committee for Consumer Safety, which is an independent uh, committee for testing cosmetics in the EU, said that 4% is no longer considered safe to use in sunscreen due to two factors. Factor number one is that the scientific committee can't ex exclude the 4MBC genotoxic property, which means the data presented to the SCCS, although all of it is negative, some of it is not high quality enough to be included in the recommendation. So is it a genotoxic? Probably not, but we have to wait for another opinion from the SCCS. The reason number two is the endocrine disruption properties of 4MBC. The SSCS used a recent report from ECA, which is the European Chemical Agency, to see if those properties are true or not. They relied on vitro data, also in vitro data from both animals and humans. In vitro data, aka cells in a dish, showed a strong positive result that 4MPC binds to the estrogen receptor, activates some gene transcriptions and induce cell proliferation, which means help the cells to divide faster. The in vivo animal study, two studies, one is oral, one is dermal, showed that 4MPC has some effect on the endocrine system, but those effects were actually so much lower than the positive control in the experiment. So the SCCS used an approach called the weight of evidence where they processed the data of more than 30 studies and came to the following conclusion. They said there is a scientific evidence to, to conclude that 4-MPC is actually an endocrine disruptor via thyroid and estrogen modalities according to mode of action analysis including an evaluation of biological plausibility. What does that mean is that the committee were able, after processing all this data from the 30 studies in vitro, in vivo animals and humans, that the compound itself has some endocrine disruptor properties. And they were uh, able to check that the, uh, the mechanism of action of this endocrine disruption is actually plausible, biologically speaking, which means that the compound enters the body and do the following step leading to the next step, etc., leading to the last step, which is an endocrine disruption effect. After this, this led the SSCS to say 4% is no safe anymore and further evaluation is underway. So, should we scream, cry and uh, panic? Actually, no. And here is why. 4MPC is not actually a popular sunscreen UV filter anymore. Since 2008, its usage declined so fast. There is a one report from the UK that states in 2005, 25% of sunscreen tested contained 4MPC. But in 2010, only 1.2%. Also, we have a report from Switzerland in 2013 there was no 4MPC uh, found in any of the tested sunscreen in the market. Another point is that the endocrine disruption effect actually were evident at concentration much higher than those uh, of the what we call the NOWELL, no observed adverse effect level. The NOWELL of 4MPC is 25 mg per kilogram body weight per day, but the effect were noticed orally at 100 mg and dermally at 400 mg, which is very hard to achieve with the current concentration. So some might ask why even the SCCS said it's not safe if it's hard to achieve those concentration with real life usage. There are two reasons actually. The reason one is that in 2021, the European Commission through their REACH initiative placed 4MPC on a list called S2 
VHC, which is substance of very high concern, to be studied extensively for possible risk. Reason number two is that the approach of the SCCS is very conservative. They need to make sure that the quality of data is optimal and because an ingredient that has an even 1% uh, a chance of being genotoxic is not allowed in cosmetic. So they give their opinion, which later the European Commission will have to discuss and take the next step, which could be another opinion with more data submitted or actually an amendment to the cosmetic regulation removing that UV filter or reducing the concentration. Lastly, here is my advice. So there is a good chance that your sunscreen doesn't contain for MPC, but if it does, I would recommend using something alternative until further data is available. I'm giving this advice out of abundance of cautious and in a very conservative approach because I'm sure 4% of 40 MPC is not going to kill you. There was previous reports that oh, and safety studies led to that 4% uh, concentration and I'm sure the further uh, data submitted also the uh, next opinion by the SSCS will make everything very clear. So this was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. I did it just because in the future you might find something uh, being brought up regarding for MPC and people who support the clean beauty and fear mongering based information will use that to fuel your emotion to be afraid of sunscreen and the usage of sunscreen. So I'm just doing that as a, um, an ahead step so they don't do anything crazy with the information so you will all be uh, equipped with the correct information and of course when the SCCS uh, update the uh, their opinion or giving a final opinion regarding this UV filter the 4 MPC I will do another video giving you all the result what they included uh, as a new data and possibly new concentration and safety level so as always take care and stay safe bye